Hello everyone and happy National Poetry Month. This is Miss Jordy, the young adult librarian at the Augusta Richmond County Public Library. Thank you for joining me today as I show you how to create haiku and collage poetry. If you have never heard of haiku poetry, it is a form of Japanese poetry that is made of short unrhymed lines that is usually about nature. Traditionally, it has a seasonal word called a kigo that takes place in a specific season. Examples of seasonal words are cherry blossoms, snow, icicles, sunflowers, baseball, pumpkins, and autumn leaves. When a haiku is written in English, the most common format is a three-line poem in a five-seven-five syllable pattern with 17 syllables exactly. So the first line has five syllables, the second line has seven syllables, and the third line has five syllables. The poem also has a two-part structure that has a juxtaposition or transition where you're comparing or contrasting two elements, which can be separated by punctuation, for example, a long dash. Here is a haiku that I wrote. Beautiful flowers, blue and purple hydrangeas, in full bloom, springtime. My first line, beautiful flowers, has five syllables. My second line, blue and purple hydrangeas, has seven syllables. And my third line, in full bloom, springtime, has five syllables. Except for the pollen, I love springtime. And when I think of spring in Augusta, I think of all the beautiful flowers that are in bloom such as the hydrangeas and magnolias. So I wanted to create a poem that evokes that same feeling of spring. When you write a haiku, you want to use words that allow your readers or listeners to be able to picture mentally or feel what you wrote about. Now it's your turn. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to write a haiku poem about spring or about another topic in nature and email me at C-U-R-T-I-S-J at arcpls.org by April 30th, 2021 to enter our poetry contest. The winners will be displayed on our social media pages and you will also receive a special gift. With your submission, please include your name, the school you attend, and the grade you're in. Now, let's look at how to create collage poetry. You may be wondering, what is collage poetry? Well, collage poetry is any composition that includes words, phrases, or sections of outside source materials and placed together to create a unique poem. The materials you will need to create a collage poem are pens, papers or cardboard, written materials such as magazines, newspapers, or books, glue or double-sided tape, and scissors. The first step to creating your collage poem is to decide how you are going to write your poem. Here are some things to consider. Do you want to choose a theme? Or do you want to create a poem based solely on the words available to you? Do you want to create a more visual poem by organizing your words into a specific shape, such as a tree or a heart? Or do you want to use only a particular color for your text, such as using all black words or all red words? Your next step is to start looking for words or lines in your magazines, books, or newspapers that you want to use. Your third step is to keep collecting words and lines and start cutting them out. Your fourth step is to arrange your words and lines together on your paper or cardboard. Your final step is to use glue or double-sided tape to adhere your words and lines on your paper or cardboard. As an extra step, you may want to type your poem and print it out, as well as draw illustrations on your paper. Here is an example of a collage poem where the words have come from different sources to create a poem about the poet's perfect morning. There are different fonts, colors, and backgrounds which give the poem an interesting visual appeal. I'll read it. It says, the perfect morning, no rise and grind, an amazing getaway, buzzing with life. Yes, so fresh, all the feels. Now for your final challenge, Create your own collage poem about the joys of spring or about another topic of your choosing and submit a photo of your creation to me, Miss Jordy, at C-U-R-T-I-S-J at A-R-C-P-L-S dot org by April 30th, 2021 to enter our poetry contest. In your email, please include your name, your school, 
and the great you're in. To learn more about haiku and collage poetry, check out my list of sources that include very informative articles and videos. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed learning about haiku and collage poetry. I look forward to seeing your entries for our poetry contest. Show our community how talented and creative you are. Be sure to follow us at the Augusta Library and the Young Adults at Augusta Library on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you later.